Hey, uh, I just, um, I just decided to get, you know, another video out of the way since I'm kind of on the music thing right now. Um, I'm sorry that these videos don't have very much to do with China, but you know what? Why do you guys want to hear about China all the time? I've got plenty of, uh, I've got plenty of China stuff to talk about in the future, so I'm just taking a little segue, uh, from that because I am, um, I am very interested in music, so uh, and, and and instruments, so I'm just gonna kind of get this stuff, you know, out of the way. Uh, anyway, this is my uh, my main guitar, uh, the one that I play uh, all the time. This is actually this is actually my dream guitar for a real long time. I wanted a cobalt blue uh, Strat um, with a maple fretboard on it. Um, this is not a real Strat, it's made by J&J, &J. it's a Chinese guitar. Um, this cost like 600 RMB uh, shortly after I got here. This is not a, an expensive instrument, and it certainly doesn't sound like one. Um, but it does do what I want it to do, and really for having stock electronics it sounds pretty good. Uh, I use my computer to play with a, a couple of programs called Amplitube. I use Amplitube 2 and Amplitube Jimi Hendrix. And um, this is the um, this is the guitar I plug up to it. it has three single coil pickups. Um, like I said in one of my earlier videos, I really uh, I really prefer single coils. Humbuckers just sound like a wet blanket over the amplifier to me. Uh, it has a selector switch, not as good a, a one as uh, as on the Yamaha I just showed you, uh, but I've developed uh, a way of uh, playing strats that, you know, I don't really hit this thing too much. Um, I think Stratocasters are the most beautiful guitars ever made, in, in, in for many reasons. Uh, you know, on like a lot of the really nice guitars, like Les Pauls and stuff, uh, they don't have a big pick guard like this. This is a, a pick guard. Uh, it holds all of the electronics on an instrument like this. So if I want to change out these pickups to better ones, or you know, change these shitty Chinese pots out to, or the jack or whatever, out to um, you know, uh, American stuff or, or Japanese stuff. All I do is take these screws out, um, and then I can lift this off and flip it over and work on it all without having to worry about putting cables through little cavities in the in the guitar, like um, you know, like on a Les Paul or something like that. Um, this is a uh, this is an all right instrument. I had to lower the strings on it. It was a little bit high for me. I don't like the strings as high as I used to. As I said, my hands are getting a little more um, arthritic. Uh, you know, they're not as they're not as as loose as they used to be. Uh, so my, I'm putting my action a little lower these days. But when I did that, I found it's kind of buzzy uh, in a few places. Probably needs the uh, the rod. There's a steel rod that runs through this neck that you can adjust, but it's a real pain in the ass and I don't have much experience with it. Uh so I'm you know, I'm 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 fine with it the way it is because it you know, you don't hear it through the amp. I mean this is a this is really a you know, a very beautiful instrument. It's exactly what I wanted. I'm hoping I can take this thing back to America on a trip home or something leave it there so I can upgrade it. Memories of in, you know, as in, as in China. Uh, just like my Yamaha, some of these Allen screws are already stripped, you know, brand new from the factory. So the bridge will probably be one of the first things I'll change out. Um, I have a lot of these at home. I, I have three Strat-style guitars that I can think of at home um, already. Um, they're just great. They sound great. They look great. Um, they're not always easy to play. These are kind of a hard guitar to play to some people, but I find it, um, I find these a lot nicer. Like, I hold a Les Paul or a Gibson, and the neck just doesn't feel right to me. 
um, you know, struts, struts are, are great. They fit me just right. Um, so that is, that is that. Now, uh, a lot of people, not necessarily me, but a lot of people, uh, like playing acoustics. Uh, and my brother does dabble in guitar a little bit, so, you know, for Christmas last year, uh, our first Christmas in China, I bought him, uh, this acoustic. It's a little out of tune, I've been playing it a lot. Um, I'm not going to say how much this guitar was, because I don't, uh, I don't really want him to know. Um, it's a, uh, it's got a nice kind of flame top, it's got the, uh, the, the bridge pins instead of the, you know, put through. Uh, this is actually an acoustic electric, has a little preamp there, and has a little jack here, uh, for a, uh, quarter-inch guitar cable. It all runs off of a, um... 9 volt battery. And uh this is a um I can't believe I'm going to do this. It's an all right acoustic. It could be it could be a little bit um better in some ways. It does it does nod out a little bit in the upper frets, but if we're playing rhythm, give me a break, it's early. Um, the other nice thing about this one is that with the electronics, I was able to hook this up to Amplitube, and, uh, you know, uh, because I, I like, I, I've tried this thing with my, my guitar amp, and it just, it just squeals and feeds back really bad when you add stuff like distortion and everything like that. Uh, but when I hook it up to my computer and run it through this program, um, sounds just like Hendrix, even though it's an acoustic. Uh, so I think that might be useful to my brother, really. Uh, this is one of those acoustics that has the, uh, fiberglass back. I don't necessarily like how these sound so much. Uh, it's got good tuners on it. This thing stays in tune for a long, long time, which is one of the most important things an instrument can do. Um, anyway, videos, uh long enough, I think. Um, if anybody was going to get a guitar and, you know, they wanted something that could do a lot of things, a good, solid, thick-bodied acoustic electric might be the thing, along with some type of computer amp modeling software and maybe a quarter-inch to USB converter, um, you know, to improve the latency. Um, anyway, that's it for the, uh, instruments for right now. Um, I think I'm going to do a video on motorcycles tomorrow. Outside, I think. Anyway, that's really it for me. Later.